got that hotness for you today. In this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at some products from Cutaway USA. I've been dying to ride some of the products from these guys, and they recently launched a new line of new line of jerseys with a, a new fabric, and it seemed like a good time to hit them up and see if they would uh, be able to send me something to ride. So what we're looking at today is uh, a couple jerseys from their Full Cloud line. And the Full Cloud line is what they say, experience the cloud, climb faster, higher, and stay cooler during the hot summers with the cutaway Full Cloud jersey. These guys are from Richmond, so obviously they share the same climate as I do. Super hot, at least in the, during the summer, it gets super hot and extremely humid. So idea behind these jerseys is to make them as light as possible and breathe as much as possible. And I guess still be jerseys. That being said, they do kind of resemble, um, I mean, this is one of the new base layers. Uh, they do kind of resemble base layer material, um, but not as thin. First one we're gonna look at is the Surf Fade colorway. We got some stickers. And this one's got a little bit of that Mercatone Uno Pantani 98 thing going on. So super lightweight design, relatively uh, you know race cut sleeves. Uh, they go pretty low onto the arm. Not as long as others, but still did have that nice sleek look to them. Three pockets on the rear, as usual. Logo at the bottom at the in the center pocket. And I've already tried this one on, and it seems as though that the pockets, as light as this jersey is, that it seems as though the pockets don't sag, like I've had with some uh, some other brands, super lightweight jerseys. Uh, the one thing you can see about this is the weave. The weave is much, much tighter than some of the other lightweight jerseys. So the I think that the fact that it's aerated, but still has this kind of mesh structure to it, gives it a lot more structure than I was expecting when I first pulled it out of the package. Full zip. And one thing that they were uh, recommending is that you size down, um, that the jersey definitely stretches a lot. I'm pretty healthy, 190, I guess the latest I've weighed is about 193, about six foot and a medium is basically perfect fit for me. I stretch it a little bit, but I mean, I stretch it a lot, but the, the fit is still really good. Uh, even if I lose weight, I'm still probably gonna fit this really well. They say that it's like 93 grams for the, the extra small. This thing is ridiculously light. The other one they sent me was the uh, Crozet Rosette, or is it Crozet Rosette? Digging this uh, polka dot pattern. It's got little rosette symbols in there. Dark blue colorway, again, pretty sheer I and mean, you can definitely see see through it in the pictures when you see it online the you can definitely see the the bib straps when I tried it on it wasn't that revealing even though I was stretching it, I was surprised uh, I'm thinking that the studio shots that they had were pretty hot in terms of the lights so everything was gonna be pretty see-through I'll definitely get some shots of myself maybe I don't know that sounds like a really terrible idea but regardless I'll get some shots of myself wearing this with the the bibs and we'll see how revealing they are I mean honestly if you take a look at the riders in the tour right now just about everybody's wearing some kind of um, summer weight, super lightweight race jersey, and everything's visible. You remember back in the day when uh, Sky first launched it when they were working with Rafa, everybody was making fun of the fact that uh, you could get sunburn, and then everybody after that started making the same jersey. So I don't know what the, everybody's complaining about. Next on the list, base layers. I don't know if you're a fan of base layers in the summer. For me, it kind of gets the, uh, the jersey off of the skin. But honestly, this is basically the same material as the, the jersey, so I'm thinking that um, I may not have to use that. Although, and this depends, they also sent me uh, a pair of the bibs. It depends on uh, where it hits me um, on my chest, because I've had times where the bib straps have actually hit me right on the nipples. And those things, yeah, that, let's just say that the a base layer saves that. Um, that's almost, it's basically just like uh, when runners have to put uh, body glide on their nipples so they don't rub them things raw if they're in a marathon. A long ride in the summer, those things moving back and forth like that. That doesn't feel good. So, oh, I'm digging this, this style. I love the prints on their base layers. This one's awesome. The other one that I really like is the uh, the Galaxy base layer that they've they've had out for a while. So, I mean, looking at this side by side, they're essentially the same. They're made out of the same material. Yeah, my hypothesis that they're essentially making jerseys out of base layers is correct. I'm super stoked. So, all right, well, let's back up again. One of the reasons why, another reason why I like base layers is many times, and this is probably not gonna be the case with uh, these jerseys, but many times when a jersey is extremely tight and you sweat through it and the thing's completely soaked, despite it being a breathable material, it feels as though like you're, you're covered in saran wrap. At least for me, it feels like it's very constricting. I mean, you think about it, it's plastic, it's it's wet, it's on your skin, it doesn't feel good. I don't know, maybe I'm just too sensitive. All right, so next up, they sent me their Italian compression bib shorts. Uh, these things look pretty cool. They're also super light. You can hear the fabric, it, uh, I like the way that feels. The pad, I, I don't 
I don't know if it's SciTech or not. It definitely has the, the, the look and feel to it. Um, it has a nice long compression band on the bottom with a little bit of uh, tackiness there, a little bit of rubberized material. Kind of the traditional bib straps, fabric to the outside, and then a mesh, mesh layers on the inside. I think the only thing that looks like it's laser cut down here is the is the base of this. Not that there's anything wrong with that, just some people like not having any extra material up here, at least the, the stitching. This was like some fun stuff to, to ride. I'm looking forward to testing this out. I think there's one more thing in here. Sweet water bottle. But yeah, we'll uh, get some pictures of this soon. Uh, hopefully I'm still losing some weight so I won't look like a giant meat sack in very sheer revealing clothing. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little look at uh, Cutaway's product. I'll have all the links below in uh, the description uh, if you want to take a look at their stuff. I'm not sure exactly what their stock is. Definitely, if you're interested, check it out as soon as possible. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're digging my content, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're super stoked about what I'm doing, uh, why don't you hit that notification button so you can get notified when the latest content comes up. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.